Replacing the high pressure intensifier seals on your jet edge pump is easy. This can be done in under a half hour. To replace your seals, you will need a jet edge seal replacement kit and a few standard tools. Here are the tools you will need. Seal changing tools to insert the high pressure seal into the cylinder, high pressure grease, plastic dowels to remove seals or insert rings, a 1 and 1 8 wrench and socket for the center section, a foot pounds torque wrench and an inch pounds torque wrench, extensions and sockets, 6 inch PVC for inserting the backup collar into the cylinder, an accumulator charger, charging gauge and fittings, Lapping paper for cleaning off the plunger and blue lube for any of the stainless fittings. Lapping compound and a lapping stone. Snap rings for the center section to remove the plunger coupler and two end cap support studs to support the end cap and cylinder assembly when you are changing the seals. Remove the drain line. Disconnect the inlet water using 7 8 and 3 16 inch wrenches. Then disconnect the ultra high pressure water connection from the intensifier. Now, loosen the high pressure cylinder cap screws. Remove the two top cap screws and washers. Install two end cap support studs to support the end cap and cylinder assembly. Remove the rest of the cap screws. Make sure you remove the washers. Remove the high pressure end cap and high pressure cylinder and place it on a bench. This is a good time to inspect and clean the plunger. Make sure it is clean and free of debris. Wrap an inch wide strip of lapping paper around the plunger. Clean it, spray it with brake cleaner and wipe it down. Now we can separate the high pressure end cap and the high pressure cylinder. Set the cylinder on two blocks that are slightly taller than the cylinder and separate the end cap from the cylinder. Lay the blocks down flat and place the high pressure cylinder on the blocks, leaving a gap between the blocks so they don't obstruct the seal from coming out. Insert the mandrel tool into the high pressure cylinder and tap it with a plastic mallet. Turn it over and push the spacer tube all the way down until it stops. Reinsert the mandrel tool and tap it again with the mallet and remove the spacer tube. Clean both ends of the cylinder and the inside edge. Take a scotch bright pad and go in about a fingernail deep and run it all the way around. Do this on both ends and then clean each end with brake cleaner. Do the same for the spacer tube. Now you are ready to insert the new seals into the cylinder. Place the cap tool on the top of the cylinder and slide the insertion sleeve into the cap tool. Insert the seal O-ring side down, making sure it is square. Push it down with the mandrel tool. Then install the backup ring. Flip the cylinder over and install the spacer tube. 
Then install the second high pressure seal and backup ring. Before you install the backup ring, note that there is a thick side and a thinner side with a taper. The thinner side with the taper always goes down into the cylinder to meet the main part of the seal. The thick side goes up towards the outside of the cylinder. Now you are ready to put the check tube and end cap back on the cylinder. Grease the check tube with high pressure grease and then reinstall the check tube and end cap onto the cylinder. Clean and inspect the consumable backup disc and replace it if worn. If you reuse it, install it so the side that had been facing the high pressure cylinder now faces the hydraulic end cap. This promotes even wear. Reinstall the end cap support studs and then reinstall the cylinder. Make sure that the weep hole is straight down and that the water inlet connection is vertical. Then draw the cylinder in with two of the cap screws, alternating from side to side. Snug them down and remove the support studs. Then reinsert the remaining cap screws and snug them down to roughly 25 foot pounds. Use your torque wrench and start at 50 foot-pounds for the first torque. Go in a pattern that is straight across from each other and clockwise all the way around. Your next torque is 70. Start at the opposite side. Your final torque is 90, and that brings you back to the initial pattern. Then verify the torque all the way around. Now we can reinstall the high pressure tubing. Then, reinstall the inlet water connection. And then, reinstall the drain tube.